Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yeah, I have a new setup that I have going on here. This channel for the first time. So earlier on this week, I released a video showing that we can RGH the console without needing an hardware flasher, such as Pico flasher or anything like that. Um, that was an experiment. And I decided to do a little bit more planning. So what I'm going to do, so I have two consoles here, one's a, a Trinity and one is a Corona. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use File Explorer to prepare the drives ahead of time, copy all the files that I need, such as the, the app folder, the plugin folder, the content folder, and configure the INI file so that whenever time I plug it in, it reads it, I won't have any problem or any issue like that. Um, hopefully, these two have the, um, built in um, storage into them. Um, the one I did earlier, which was the, the Corona, it didn't have a built in storage. So, that error that you were seeing where trying to update and it was failing, um, previously, the none that I prepared before had an update on it. And because that was stored on the original R drive, it seems as if to have some issues. So hopefully these have built-in um, storage that will prevent that. If not, um, we'll see what happens, but I don't think I will encounter that. So what I have here is a OG Xbox, and I'm trying to do some sort of project with this. I may end up creating a 3D printed case for it. I'm now gonna do some sort of modification where I can power it using a USB adapter rather than the original adapter that comes with it. Um, for the controller, I'm hoping to be able to use third-party control on it. So I'm gonna have to do some research and everything, but that will be um, a separate video. I don't know if I'm gonna do a series on this or not, but I am gonna do some sort of project um, with this. But that's why um, for these two consoles, I'm gonna go through the steps again of how I actually RGS 3 them without, you know, using a flasher. And it's going to be more mainstream, um, I would say more planned rather than an experiment and going and facing all those issues I've in the previous video. So yeah, um, join us on my journey as I do that with these two. And I will have close up footage to show that there is no soldering done on the board where the program I would normally go. I know I didn't zoom in with the last video, but I'll make sure to zoom in so you can see. And then I will boot both motherboards side by side so you can see that, you know, preparing the NAND ahead of time, the flash it to the console, and then do the RJ3 soldering on the back of the board, then reassemble the board and plug it in. And we'll see that start up. Um, one of the reason why I find that helpful, especially when you're doing Corona. So knowing that there's two different soldering points depends on the, the size of flash that's on the board, whether it's a, a four, I think it's a four meg or 16 meg. I'm not quite sure, but there's two different um, chips that are on the board and depends on which one and um, determine where you put your soldering point either from whatever flasher you're using or from the Pico flasher. But if you can prepare the none ahead of time, you basically eliminate all that procedure. You have to determine um, which, which solid procedure to use when connecting the, the flashing device. So that will make the process faster for me when I'm RGH in console for users or anyone who, you know, request that to be done and yeah so that's my plan and everything um and the plan for the xbox if you have any ideas what you would like to see me do um with the og xbox um do let me know you know i always take comments and any suggestion and i try to apply them for you the viewers so you know that will be the plan so you know thanks for watching like and subscribe and I will see you.